All right, I am really excited about this evening because we are going to go to a ukulele class. And I just got my grandfather's ukulele redone, which he's had a place in Hawaii for decades. And I believe this ukulele is probably oof, 40 years old, maybe. It was made in, uh, let's see, what does it say here? In Nazareth, Pennsylvania by the C.F. Martin Company. So very, very old ukulele. Got it restrung, ready to tune, and, and go to class. And I'm excited because I know that it's going to be a great way to meet some new people in the community, but also really excited because I, uh, I don't know much about playing ukulele, so to do a starter class, I think this is going to be a community event that's really close to my heart, because I get to kind of enjoy what my grandfather has enjoyed. Not to mention, I've also heard there is a 12-year-old that's supposedly the next Taylor Swift that was on America's Got Talent. I guess it's like 45 million views of her playing the ukulele. So apparently among the younger people, this is becoming a very popular, hot thing to do. Uh, it looks like an easy community event to throw, and it's being held at the Decatur Brew Works, which is a brewery that we have locally here in town. So let's go check it out. We'll see how we do on the ukulele. <laughs> only know one or two chords, uh, just, just stick to in. those two. Okay. Um, if you don't know any, then pick two. <laughs> yeah, work on them. Okay. Yeah. for the purpose of the event. <laughs> it, it went something like this. We're going to have a new And then it went like this. Yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, let's hear the real story. <laughs> okay, so it's like there's got to be people around here. We just have to put it out there. Right. I did say, okay, we're gonna pick a date, didn't I, Phil? Yes. I said we're gonna pick a date, we're gonna put it out there, and it's gonna happen. We'll do Christmas carols, and then we'll just do the first Wednesday of the month after that. And so this is like meeting number two. You know, like it's one of those things. Look at G. It's gonna be GC. Here we go. Wow, that was awesome. I just got back from the ukulele jam. I had so much fun. I would completely do that again in a heartbeat. My grandpa's ukulele, it's got to be like 40 years old. It was really cool walking in there and people that really knew musical instruments, they took a look at it and they were like, wow, I can't believe this is a CF Martin. I don't even know what that means, to be honest. But apparently it's like a $900 ukulele. To me, though, it's priceless. It does not matter what the cost is. It was my grandfather's. So I'm stoked about it. I'm just happy to play it. And I think that uh, I learned something new, um, just meeting people and, and uh, you know, the strumming and the different new chords that I learned, that was great. But at the end, I also met a really cool girl named Elizabeth Merrill. She shared an amazing story to me. It was almost like a, out of a Harry Potter book. And she had said that when she was uh, learning to play violin, which she's now done for about 20 years, she said that she went into this store. They must have had 50 violins. She tried them all out. Nothing would work. And so she was talking to the shopkeeper and he said, I think I've got one for you. And so he went into the back, he got into this vault and brought her out a violin from the, the mid 1700s. I mean, like fathom how old that is. That's crazy old. And she played it and it sounded amazing in her hands. He's like, you're an old soul and this violin was meant for you. I'm going to give it to you. And of course she purchased it and everything, but still the, just an amazing story of like, how does a musician come together with their choice instrument? And for me, that makes this story so much deeper because this is my grandfather's ukulele that I get to play. I think it's so cool that I was able to go and meet other like-minded people that just wanna hang out, play some new music, have fun, and, and do it in a way that brings community together. Another great experience today with, with the ukulele jam at Decatur Brew Works. And I'll say if you're ever in Decatur, check out the beers here because they're very, very tasty. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow in another event. Make it a great 2017, and thanks for watching.